and if the water will touch the fifth level the motor will automatically off okay so there is a automatic off of the motor so this is automatic and on fifth level we have used another color led this is the red color led now after one level the motor should on automatically keep the motor in the water Water level. Okay, tank become empty, and motor automatically start, and it will keep on filling the tank until the level reaches to the fullest. Hello friends, today we are going to learn the project fully automatic water level controller using 805 microcontroller with dry run motor protection. So now we are going to study our project in detail. To find the code, circuit diagram, and PCB design, you can follow the description given below. Thank you. This is 230 volt AC. This 230 volt AC is divided into two sections: one to the transformer, another to the uh, relay, which ultimately drive the AC motor. So this is the uh, motor which we are going to use to show your AC motor because your submersible pump or simple AC motor is also 230 volt, and this is the uh, big uh, large size cooler motor. This is also 230 volt motor, right? <coughs> So uh, this 12 volt AC is then applied to the bridge rectifier. This bridge rectifier will convert AC AC into DC. Then further, this pi filter acting as a uh, filter filter circuit uh, so that it can filter out the uh, fluctuations or AC component from the output of the bridge rectifier. This is the 7805 voltage regulator which will convert 5, 12 volt DC into 5 volt DC, which is utilized by microcontroller and our LCD and our sensors, right? <clears throat> these are the leds on which you will show the level of the tank for example this is your complete tank and there are six level or there are for example five level these five level will be shown on these led as well and the level is also written on the lcd as well right and these are the transistor these transistor are acting as a sensing circuit so uh, this is the connector which you will need to connect over here so these sensor will provide data to these transistor and these transistor will provide data to the microcontroller and this is the buzzer and this is the led which will which is used to show the dry run if there is a dry run then the motor will cut off automatically means if there is no water in the pipe so to sense the water in the pipe we will install these two sensors in the pipe right if there is a water then the sensor will provide data to the microcontroller and microcontroller will came to know that there is a water in the pipe and it will own the motor if there is no water in the pipe then the motor won't on it will keep off and the status on the lcd will be shown right so uh, for this thing we also need some water so basically for example uh, for the demo purpose we have used for example uh, this pipe sensor we will ins insert over here if there is a water it means there is a water in the pipe then this uh, signal uh, will provide to the microcontroller and microcontroller will give command to the motor if there is no water in the pipe then this motor will keep off whether your level is low or high doesn't matter right so for example right now we are going to own our project now tank is empty right now because and these are the uh, sensors we have set in the tank right so there are uh, nearly one two three four five six level right bottom level is for just providing sensing data other five level used to uh, he, use here uh, to show the level of the tank now this is the connector you connect over here right i am going to own my project now project is on welcome level controller water level controller right water tank is empty now this buzzer will keep on providing a little beep and this red led will keep on flashing it means there is no water in the pump otherwise the motor should on right now right but if this sensor will go in the water then this motor will automatically on and if you are fed up of the sound of beep you can off the beep of this buzzer as well through this button in that case led will keep on flashing it all depend upon the user whether the user like the sound of the buzzer or not if he want to off the buzzer sound then he can off through this toggle switch right for example uh, now we are going to provide water in the water pipe right so then motor will automatically on now motor is on why because there is a water in the pipe if there is no water in the pipe then the motor will off automatically right now 
दिस एल ई डी बीपिंग विल शो यू दैट देर इज नो वाटर इन द टैंक सो दैट यू कैन यूज योर टैंक वाटर वेरी केयरफुली राइट ना वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड दिस मोटर वाटर सो वी आर गोइंग टू थ्रो दिस मोटर इन इन द वाटर डाउन इन द वाटर डाउन डाउन नाउ दिस इज द पाइप ओके नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड नाउ वाटर इज कमिंग एंड नाउ लेवल ऑन द एल सी डी विल चेंज राइट फर्स्ट लेवल लेवल वन मैसेज ऑन द एल सी डी एंड सिंगल एल ई डी ग्लो नाउ इफ द वाटर विल टच ऑन द सेकेंड सेंसर देन मैसेज ऑन द एल सी डी विल भी वाटर लेवल टू एंड द सेकेंड एल ई डी विल ऑटोमेटिकली ग्लो नाउ सेकेंड एल ई डी ग्लो इट मीन्स देर इज टू लेवल टच इन द वाटर नाउ थर्ड लेवल टच नाउ द फोर्थ लेवल टच राइट एंड इफ द वाटर विल टच द फिफ्थ लेवल द मोटर विल ऑटोमेटिकली ऑफ ओके सो देर इज ए ऑटोमेटिक ऑफ ऑफ द मोटर सो दिस इज ऑटोमेटिक एंड ऑन फिफ्थ लेवल वी हैव यूज अनदर कलर एल ई डी दिस इज द रेड कलर एल ई डी ओके एंड द मैसेज ऑन द एल सी डी इज वाटर लेवल फाइव सो इफ द वाटर लेवल विल डिक्रीज देन इट विल कीप ऑन डिक्रीजिंग द लेवल ऑफ द वाटर ऑन द एल ई डी डिस्प्ले एज वेल एज ऑन द एल सी डी डिस्प्ले फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वी टिल्ट द वाटर टैंक राइट नाउ लेवल बिकम फोर बिकॉज वन सेंसर इज आउट ऑफ वाटर राइट नाउ वेन एवर द वाटर विल रीच टू द बॉटम देन मोटर विल ऑटोमेटिकली ऑन सो वी आर गोइंग टू सी दिस प्रोसीजर एज वेल Keep back it in this direction. No, no. Keep motor over there, and so we need to empty this. Provide me. Now we are taking out the water. Now fourth level is also down. only three level in the water and keep this pipe over here because the motor will automatically run okay place over here only only two level left वन लेवल लेफ्ट ना आफ्टर वन लेवल द मोटर शुड ऑन ऑटोमेटिकली कीप द मोटर इन दी वाटर वाटर लेवल ओके ट्रैंक बिकम एम्पटी एंड मोटर ऑटोमेटिकली स्टार्ट and it will keep on filling the tank until the level reaches to the fullest level 1 level 2 level 3 level 4 and after level 5 the motor will automatically cut off and the message on the lcd is level 5 which is your top level right level 5 tank is full so this is all about the working of your project now i am going to explain about components in this section this relay will actually provide command to the motor and 230 volt is coming out of this relay and this led as i already told you this led will show whether Uh, 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 water present in the main pipe or not if there is no water then this led will keep on flashing after the level become low right and this is the single transistor this single transistor actually we have used to sense the water right 
through the sensor all other components i i have already explained if you have any doubt you can put your doubt in the comment box thank you and uh, for code circuit diagram you can follow the description given below